Now let's talk about actually writing your first line of Python. And you'll see why all of this terminal conversation was important. Um, so to, to, to our first line of Python is going to be the classic hello world. So what does a baby say when it's first born? Well, probably not hello world, probably is crying and screaming. Um, but our code is above that. It doesn't cry or scream. Uh, it's going to tell the world hello. Um, and the way we're going to do that is we're going to learn our first Python command, which is so exciting. And our Python command is called print, P-R-I-N-T. And print, with some parentheses, will tell the uh, computer to print something out uh, and display it on the screen. And then we have to tell uh, Python what to print. And so for that, we will put in quotation marks whatever we want Python to print. So hello world. And since this is our first time writing any Python, we're going to add an exclamation mark for excitement. So now that I've done this, you can see there's a little yellow circle up here. That means that your file isn't saved yet. So to save your file, you need to hit either Command S or Control S on your keyboard, and that little circle goes away, and that tells you that the file has been saved. Alternatively, you can go up to File and hit Save, and that will save your file. So this print command is going to tell Python to print this uh, string, which is what we call a series of human letters uh, uh, in, in, in Python. And we'll learn more about this as a type um, in our next class. But we uh, type this, we save. Um, now, how do we run our code? So to run our code, uh, first we want to make sure that we are in the directory that has our code. So we can see on the left that this file, democode.py, is in the demo coding assignment directory. Uh, on the right here, uh, we can see that our terminal, our working directory, is in that same, uh, in that same uh, folder. So we can confer this with pwd, which shows us that we're in the demo coding assignment. And we can also confirm this by listing the files in this folder. And we'll see that democode.py is right here. How do we run our code? We talked last time about how computers understand binary language and that we write code in Python, but we need to give the computer the code. Uh, the, the computer needs to get that uh, code that we've written translated into binary, which is what it understands. And so the way we do that is with a command called Python 3. So Python 3 followed by a space. Um, and then, oops, um, let's clear this out. Python 3 followed by a space. And then the name of the file, which is demo underscore code. But remember, by the way, we can use tab autocomplete anywhere, including here. So if you just type demo underscore C and hit tab, it should autocomplete the name because there's only one file here that starts with a D or DE or demo underscore C. Um, and what this is going to do is Python 3 is a command that will take demo code um, and uh, translate it into binary language for the computer and then let the computer run it. So this is a compiler, like what we learned last class. Now, technically, Python is a special language, and it translates into um, something before bytecode, which then gets transferred, uh, before binary uh, code, which then gets transferred into, uh, translated into binary. Uh, so Technically, in Python, this program is called an interpreter, but they're very similar. And so for the purposes of this class, you can just think of this as a compiler. And if we hit run, uh, en uh, enter here, uh, the computer will run our code, and it'll print out, hello world. So that's very exciting. Um, in fact, it's so exciting, I'm going to add another print. And I'm going to say, my name is computer. And we see this yellow circle, so we have to hit Save, Command S on my computer. And I'll go back here and I'll type again Python 3 demo code and hit Tab to autocomplete. And I'll hit Enter. And now 
uh, the terminal prints hello world and my name is computer. So cool, we have some code. Now, the assignment, if we go back to the assignment page, uh, well, here in the, at the top, this gray line, which by the way, why is this gray and why doesn't it do anything? Well, you'll see at the very front, there's this uh, hashtag symbol. In Python, hashtag tells the computer to ignore that line. And this is something we call, the, call a comment. So the comment doesn't at all affect what your code does, but it makes it so that people reading your code, other humans reading your code can understand what's going on. And so you can add comments to remind yourself to do something. So I could say, remember, remember to add another print here. I hit save. This won't at all affect the code if I run it again. So nothing else changes. This is grayed out to remind you that this doesn't affect the code, but this is how you'll see instructions in your file. They'll either be provided in the description of the assignment or in the starter code itself, which is the file that you're given in the uh, assignment folder. Um, let's go ahead and submit this assignment. So if we go up to submit, uh, we press the green submit button and the assignment that we're working on here is demo coding assignment. And so if we go here and select uh, the file that we want to submit, which is democode.py, it'll tell us submission successful. So we can click view submission. And here you'll see, so this is the auto grader. This is the code that you submitted. Um, and on the right here, you'll see the test cases. And you'll see that this test case failed. So we can take a look and see why. Um, this is one of the test cases that shows you the input of the test case and the expected output. So we were expecting your code to print hello world, but actually your code printed out hello world and my name is computer. And so at the end, this will show us in red is stuff that's extra and in green is stuff that's missing that should be there. So you can see that we additionally printed in my name is computer because I was excited about this. And we add an exclamation mark and W was capitalized. So let's go back and fix this because you have unlimited submissions. If we go back and go back to our IDE here in the mirror, we can edit our code. So we'll get rid of the second print line. We'll make W have a lowercase, uh, the world have a lowercase W and get rid of the exclamation mark. We hit save and let's see if we run this again. By the way, a shortcut here. If you don't want to type the same thing over and over, if you want to run the same command as the last time, you can use the up key on your keyboard. So you press up and that brings up the previous command that you ran. So up brings up the previous command that you ran. And you hit enter. Great, now it prints just hello world and that looks correct. That looks the same as what our, our auto grader was expecting. So if I go up to submit, I select the assignment that we want to submit and the file here is democode.py. Click view submission. Great. Um, your submission is being graded. So the auto grader is running. So reload the screen here, uh, the page here. Awesome. So now we can see on the right, uh, all of the test case passed, test cases passed, there's only one, and you got full credit, five out of five points. Uh, and here you can see the history of the submissions that you've made. Uh, with that, I would like to congratulate you on writing your first lines of Python code. That's so exciting. Uh, your very first line, printing hello world. Um, and I look forward to seeing you in uh, lab, uh, Vijay's lab tomorrow, where we'll start thinking about some simple algorithms um, and maybe do a bit more coding. Bye.